Hello everyone and welcome back to this episode of Mindful, episode number three. Uh, it's been a little while since I've been able to record, but I wanted to uh, start off with uh, this. Uh, come join us at the Minecraft Fried Chicken Stand down the bank that way. First visit free. Ah, okay, so it looks like he's, he's, he's charging iron there. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and we'll clean this up while we're here. Uh, and go take a look at that. There's actually a lot happening on the server lately. Um, oop, I see it's turning night outside. Let's do a quick sleep here. It is dangerous out there. So let's go ahead and sleep away the night, and we're going to talk a little bit more about that in just a little bit too. But anyway, okay, there we go. Let's go ahead and head over down the bank here and see what we got. I actually uh, was a little proud of myself. I finally got the roof in here correctly done, uh, so that makes me feel a lot better. Added some more storage uh, here in the spawn house for people who are just getting started. We have our anvil, we have our enchanting table, and we have a portal to the nether. Um, I actually went to the nether the first time and they had not uh, blocked it off. I went through and a creeper was waiting for me on the other side. Not fun. Blew up, snuffed out the portal. Had to invent some uh, crazy ways of getting back, but I eventually did make it back. Oh, yeah. Okay, so here it is. This is the, uh, ask us about our new chicken. Welcome to the mic. <laughs> so this is obviously our new fried chicken stand here. Uh, probably some people have been watching uh, the Minecraft server a bit much, I think, because there was something like this made there over there. So place iron in the chest on the left, then press the wooden button if you play. Okay, okay, let's see here. So we go to the chest. We take one, but I'm just going to take one iron. Well, we'll take two. That's fine. There's a zombie in there somewhere, too. Okay, so we did that. Still there, still there. Oh, press button. Okay, so we hit the button. And then I heard a piston. Up, uh, oh, and there they are. Look at that. Two freshly cooked... Oh, actually, more than that. <laughs> so for one iron, it looks like you get, uh, what, four chicken? Or hard to count them right there. But uh, that's nice to know. I guess you can always come here and get a little food if you want to. There it says right there. One iron equals 12 cooked chicken and that's exactly what I got. So got some food to uh, get us through the rest of our adventure today. Now for here, oh I'm hearing a baby zombie. Where, where's he at? I'm hearing him. Oh there he is. Ah, These guys are nasty. They move so fast. Here we go. Got him. Uh, move so fast and uh, okay this is Laser Phoenix is starting off his uh, beef factory here too. Now, one of the things we're going to need to watch is, uh, let's try, we'll do, let's do one, no, I don't, not that many, not that many. <laughs> put more in there than I plan to put in there. But uh, these um, mob grinders can actually, ooh, look at that, five, five and three leather. Actually, you need to make some books, so we'll keep the leather, that'll be good for that purpose as well. You have to watch these uh, mob farms, they can uh, spin off a little bit and, end up going a little crazy and lagging your server, so we'll keep an eye on it. Unfortunately, Laser also built this right where I was going to uh, build the road here. <laughs> so I'll have to invent a little bit there. Hmm, sounds like way my sound's messing up here that perhaps we've got too many... Oh, we got way too many cows in here. Hmm, okay. Uh, might have to do something about that in the future. That looks like it could be a little dangerous for the server. Uh, one of the things I wanted to do is uh, I started to get the animal pens together here and uh, haven't got the beef pen together there, although now that I see that Laser's got that set up, now it's less of a priority, definitely. But over here at this pillar in the distance over by the jungle is our sheep pen, which I got going. And actually, I think I got some cows, uh, just one horse in here. I knew I had something in here besides just the sheep. Um, and so what we want to do here, got a couple of pigs in there and other things, is, uh, let me see here, can I, I made some ladders here, um, there is a little trick you can do, which is, uh, I don't know if you can do it on the exterior of, no, you can't put them on stone fences, darn, okay, so let's see here real quick, do I have any gates, I have fence, but I have no gates, so let's see real quick, let me plop down my, crafting bench here. Oops. Boom. And let's see. Oh, I can never remember how to build a gate, though. Let's see. Uh, first of all, I'm going to need some some sticks. Yes. I know I need sticks for it, and I think it's stick, 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 mm, plank, plank, but where's some planks? Do I have any planks? I only have the one plank. You've got to be kidding me. Never fails. You never have the uh, items you need in your inventory. 
when you really want them. Let's do that. So let's try this again. We'll say stick, 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 plank, plank. Hey, look at that. Got it on the third try. <laughs> uh, and what we'll do here is we'll just really quickly um, let's see if I can do this without letting anybody out. We're going to pop that and eight and pop that in there. Now we got a nice little gate there. Um, so what I want to do is first of all we're going to breed uh, We'll go ahead and breed some of these guys up. I did bring some wheat with me, right? Yes, I did. Okay, perfect. So, we'll say, uh, yeah, breed up some sheep, because we're going to need some colored wool and stuff for other purposes. And one of the things I want to do right away is, um, let's see here, can we breed the cows? Yeah, I guess not. Get everybody, get everybody. Uh, is we need some extra beds. Um, the nighttime is just so darn dangerous out there. Oh, and then I threw my shears. <laughs> okay. The nighttime is so darn dangerous that uh, without an extra bed just to sleep away the night, it can just be nasty, nasty, nasty. I ran back from this sheep pen the other night and uh, <laughs> almost didn't make it home, to say the least. Uh, oh, okay, now we got plenty of uh, wool here, and they're already eating away and growing their wool back, so that's great. And uh, so, basically, the, what I want to do is just um, get out of the way, is uh, make a few, make a bed so I can just plop it down when I need to. Let me see, do I have enough planks left? I do, so we'll say plank, plank, plank. And where's our wool gotten away to? There we go. It's a wool, wool, wool. Hey, look at that. Now we got a bed. Of course, I have no place to put it. Well, let's see here. Anything I can throw out? Uh, we'll do this for the time being. And let's see here. Joe's got his, I'm using Joe's computer, and he's got his uh, keys arranged a little differently than I'm used to. Um, but this allows us to throw down a bed when we need it. And I'll tell you what, while we're here, let's make a few more planks. Uh, bam. And then go to our planks and say, woo, let's make, a, make another chest. Bam. Do put you here, uh, out there for a second. Get a little storage space over here, just so we have to throw everything around. Bam, there we go. And now we can put, let's see, we'll put some leather in there. We'll put some wheat in there, because we're going to need that over here anyway. And uh, let's see what else I can pick back up and get that cobble. And I got the signs, and we can actually go ahead and drop the signs in here as well. That gives us a little inventory space. Cool. So uh, next time we're over here, we'll be able to, if we want to work through the night, we can simply uh, sleep away the night, and that'll be nice. Now, um, one of the things I had thought about doing over here was uh, taking one of these uh, jungle trees and uh, turning it into a flat, like they say in the uh, in the Lord of the Rings. Uh, basically, of course, I just took that <laughs> took that vine off when I should have left it there. Oh well. Um, but to uh, build a flat, because uh, actually I can use these. I was going to use ladders, but I realized I can use these uh, vines to come up here. Okay, so the end of the vine. Let's see here. And can I hop over there? Not quite. Oh, hop. And hop over. No, can't quite hop there. Okay, let's bust that out. Bank. Oh, and I'm going to fall to the ground because I am a goofball when it comes to <laughs> climbing on vines. Uh, let's see. Let's get some wood here on our bar because what I want to do is I want to put a, start a little platform up there. So let's try it again. Up we go, boom, 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 and we're going to say, oh, I did it again. <laughs> oh my god, herp, derp, herp, derp. I cannot believe it sometimes how much of a derp I really am when it comes to, I did it again. <sighs> what I want to do is just stand on the top of these lines and then reach out and paste it. But when you're here and you look around, it wants to move you too. So you got to, ah, <laughs> nope. <laughs> oh boy, I need to eat. I dangerously. I'm almost going to kill myself doing this. Let's, uh... Oh, let's get something to eat here. Oh, jeez. There are some things we feel like such a doofus when we're, uh, doing these on, um... when we're recording, because it really shouldn't be that hard. It really shouldn't be, you know? Oh, see, I can't move. I want to look to the right, but I can't, because it just wants to push me off to that right. So, how can I... Nope, did it again. 
Okay. Hmm. Okay. How about we do this instead? Just to be simplistic about it, let's put these on here. <laughs> I feel so stupid doing it this way, but oh well. Okay. I'll get rid of you. <laughs> I guess this will let me get it up to where I actually want it, though, so that's good. Okay, get that leaf out of my way, right? Am I hitting the leaf? Can't tell what I'm hitting there, then. One more leaf. Part of the reason I wanted to do this, too, was I wanted to get a nice um, vantage point over the rest of the planes here, and I figured this would be a, a good place to do it. Okay, which one's stopping me? You're stopping me now, aren't you? There you go. Come on, get the right block on my bar. And one more. There we go. And, okay, now we're starting to see something here. So, if I now switch over to my planks real quick here. Let's see, where are my planks? There they are. And, actually, yeah, let's put planks down here. And then let's just put plank, 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 plank. And I have some ladders here, so let's see. Can I get them on there? There we go. And that should allow me now to get up here without too much trouble and falling on my butt down below. Silly ghost god, I can't believe that. But I wanted to be here so we could kind of look over the plains and get a nice vantage point to look out over things here. Um, and I think now that we uh, actually have this set up, I'm going to, since we made this, and this is the exact reason I made this bed, let's plop it down up here, and, oh, not wide enough, is it? Oh, yeah, let's say crouch down, go over here, and, uh, boy, more planks, yeah, I got the one there, let's see here, not quite wide enough here to plop the bed down, I guess. So let's uh, pop you in here, and I'll standardize these planks later on as we get going, but um, oh, let's see. Just throw some cobble here to fill things out the rest of the way. Oh, of course, there's nothing like running out of disk space while you're actually recording. Uh, again, this is a my computer, so I uh, hadn't checked how much uh, space was available on it. Uh, but now we've got a should have enough to finish up our episode here today. Now, you may have noticed, uh, we'll see one pop up here in just a few seconds, um, that there are, uh, you'll see some uh, server saving messages here. Um, let's see, I'm going to get that XP. There were some zombies hovering around me, of course, over here during the previous night, so might as well get it and get a little bar of iron there. And get an iron up and over here. Look at that. Always use the XP. Um, you'll see some server saving messages down the lower left corner, and that is um, due to, you know, while we're here, let's go ahead and grab some more wool since they've regrown it. Um, that is because we have actually moved the server to an actual server and not just a... Um, old PC here at the house that uh, Laser and Thief Lord had to kind of deal with lag and stuff coming in from the outside, but it's actually on a hosted server. Um, Vintage Beef over in one of the Minecrackers on his channel had a recommendation for MC Pro hosting, and it was uh, fairly inexpensive. I did a whole year at a time for like 24 bucks, up to five users, just your cheapest plan. Um, just to see how this all worked out, but I'm hearing from the others that it's really cut down dramatically on the amount of lag that they were experiencing, and even being denied access entirely uh, when I was uploading YouTube videos for the Mindful series, as well as other videos that I do for my gardening blog and so on. Um, I started building some roads. I sort of wanted a center of town here. Um, the two food stands you see there are on the, on the river side, which I think is good. And now I've actually started putting together some a road, that, and this with this being the center of town right here, and then having a road going off to the jungle, a road going off to uh, Thief Lord's place, 
this way, which is his is over there in the swamp biome, if you remember where the uh, where the spawner was. Um, I've been watching B-double-O a lot doing roads, and I do like the kind of interspersed roads. I need to get some more gravel, but I think throwing in combinations of, of uh, cobble and grass and gravel and um, maybe even some wood along the way makes a really nice road, and so I'm going to continue building that, even though this is all cobble right now. I also like what they've been doing with uh, bridges and stuff, and I think maybe we'll get a little river going under here as well. Uh, I wanted to keep the road all on the same level, so I wanted to put it over existing ravines and then actually punch it through uh, mountains. In this way, I thought there was going to be a tunnel here, but actually I'm at the higher level and it uh, wasn't required. So it uh, looks like I'm just going to go along to the left here. I see Thief Lord is on. I thought I saw someone's name tag down there. I'm like, wait a minute, someone's here. <laughs> um, watching Ultra Hardcore with the guys on Minecraft, I find it very hard to find name tags, but now I see that uh, <laughs> there he is inside. Oh, he's getting him some food. Hello. <laughs> um, I've always found it very hard to find the name tags on the site, <laughs> and that one just jumped out at me all of a sudden. So, um... If you have any ideas for stuff for us to try here, it looks like something's been trampling my wheat. Um, lots of something's been trampling my wheat. I wonder what's going on there. Could be that uh, perhaps it's too far away from the riverbank. It's not getting high. No, that's right by the riverbank. Hmm. Maybe maybe Thief Lord was over gathering some, uh, some wheat there. Um, I'm going to be moving these farms a little bit, I think, over closer to the pens for the various animals. So we'll get the carrots over by the pigs, and we'll get the... Uh, We'll get the uh, wheat by the sheep and the cattle and stuff like that. Yeah, boy, lots of stuff that's gotten trampled here, so I'll figure out what's going on. Um, but that's about it for this episode of Mindful. I just wanted to show you out the things that are new here. This is uh, Laser's house, uh, and he's got some, it looks like a waterfall inside of there. Let's see here. Let's check this out. I haven't actually been in here recently. Oh, that's right. He has a little water elevator that takes him up to the top level. Oh, nice to know there's a bed in here as well if we need one. Uh, and I see something being built on the other side of the house here, which I hadn't seen before. I wonder what that's going to be. Let's go check it out real quick. And this is... Laser's Horse, Donkey, and Mule Shop coming soon. <laughs> Goodness gracious, they are going nuts with all the automated stuff here. Uh, there has been some issues in the past with uh, things like that, as I said, lagging the servers, uh, if you watch other people's videos. Um, so we'll have to keep an eye on that a little bit and make sure that... Um, come on, swim, swim! <laughs> uh, make sure it doesn't cause a bad experience for us. There we go. And here we go, and I... Saw thief. Oh, that's yeah. Oh, well, you can see inside the top of all the <laughs> different donkeys and horses in there. I assume he's going to have a a vending machine uh, set up for that too, which should be rather interesting. I haven't seen anything like that before in uh, regards to horses and donkeys and stuff, but it'll be interesting to take a look at that when it's complete. So, um, the guys have their houses uh, all started and their various businesses started. I'm thinking I need to. Uh, um, come up with a house of my own instead of my little hidey hole here. Um, I uh, was thinking about uh, either building up in that jungle biome like I was showing you earlier, making that my permanent home, or perhaps building a house on top of that crossroads in the uh, in the uh, where the roads are coming together. I sort of like that idea. I did do some uh, caving off screen and I got a, a lot more coal. I actually had a fortune pick um, and so I got tons of coal and, and tons of other supplies to kind of keep us going for a while in that regard. Uh, I think that's about it for this episode of Mindful. Just wanted to show you the new stuff that was happening and uh, as night falls here let's see if we can go see the sunset. There we go. We'll take a look at the sunset of this night falls here on the Welch World server. I wish you all a good day. Be well, everyone. Please leave your comments. If you're watching this on YouTube, please hit that like button. It really does help. Until next time, keep on digging.